Hey everyone, it's Muhammad. Uh, I have been looking at the Unreal Engine forums and I found some people complaining they cannot build the engine on Macs. So in, in this video I'll be showing how I, I did my build on, on the Mac. So first you have to get all the files from the GitHub and we start extracting them. So we start with Unreal Engine 4 file. Uh, I'm showing now how to extract files, it, it is not a big deal, but for some Mac users they cannot merge files like Windows users. So for example here, if we extracted this file, Yeah, here is a, uh, a folder called engine and inside the Unreal Engine folder there is also a folder called engine. If we try to drag and drop in here, so it gives us to replace or stop. But here is a Mac trick which lots of Mac users know. It's You just need to hold option or it's alt while dragging. So it gives you one more choice, keep newer. When you press keep newer it will Put the new files, and if there is a merged file, it will update. So now I have everything extracted and merged successfully. And if I check the Unreal Engine folder, so I find it's around six gigabytes. So anyway, uh, we have to generate the project now. So if we check first here in, in, in the engine and binaries, Mac OS, we'll find there is no application to run. Even even this editor services, it's not running. So we come here and generate project files. Uh, at the beginning, some people may complaining that they are not able to run this file even if they have the authorization and administrator privilege but anyway so we will first give the, this privilege to the file so ch mod file and drop this file and okay so if the file is not working with you so now you will be able to run this file and setting up the project files which means generating the Xcode project uh, I'm running Xcode 5.1 it's the latest one and I think you might have uh, a bit of an issue if you're using an older version of Xcode also one one problem I found uh, I tried to to build the project in, in two Macs and uh, this both computers are almost the same, the only difference in the OS version. The first one was 10.8.5 uh, Modern Line, and this one is 10.9.2, uh, I think. Yeah, it was not working in the old version of OS. So, yeah, I think you should have this version at least. So, generating the project complete, you can see here the Xcode project. So, let's open the Xcode. Indexing and loading. And yeah. Okay. Didn't finish it. So I found it's pretty much the same as building in, in Windows, but uh, for some reason I find building on Mac is a, is a quite easier. In Windows, first you you don't have to install DirectX, but yeah, any game developer already have DirectX installed, and you don't have to install Windows SDK also, and you don't have to install Visual Studio. Xcode come normally by default with your computer, so yeah. So we are ready now. So one more thing to make sure is just you select what you're going to build from here. So you you have big list here so we, we 
we need to make sure that the active scheme is the editor for Mac and select our Mac here just make sure yeah this is Unreal Engine Editor okay and then we can build So, as you can see now, the ex my Xcode finished building and it automatically starts running the Unreal Editor because here I pressed build and run. So, we can check here if there's any errors. Sometimes you get error, but if you have different configurations or one, you can alter Xcode project. Uh, till it's open, we can check here the size of our Unreal Engine now can 10 gigabytes, and if you build the whole engine, like uh, examples, examples, and everything else, it would be almost 14 or 15 gigabytes. So if we check here, because some some people when they try to open the engine again, excuse me, when they try to open the editor again, they they run Xcode and then they go to here. Uh, Yeah, product and run or command L. So, no, the most easy way is if you go to engine, binaries, macOS, and you will find here, yeah, it's Unreal Editor Mac Debug because we built a debug mode. So, keep running. Yeah, here is Unreal Engine running on Mac after years of Windows Explosive. <laughs> so anyway, here it's, it will be compiling shaders and counting down, and we can start by running an already made project, or we can go and make a new project. Yeah, anyway, I'm glad to running Unreal Engine finally on Mac. Uh, as a developer, I really like to use uh, Visual Studio. It's the best environment to, to develop something, for example, C++ or in general, develop something in general. But uh, sometimes I have no access to, to computer windows and I have to deal with Xcode. And besides, uh, I like Macs because they are, the system is more stable than Windows. Anyway, here's our video ends. If you have any issue or have any errors or any building errors, put in the comments below and check the next video. Thank you and bye.